appreciate it. Yep. And now the Rams are down to their last rep. Yep. They absolutely have to have it. Goff has to step up to avoid pressure. He is sacked. Yes! Yes! That will do it. The Packers punch their ticket to the NFC title game. Breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ, and it is monster news. A blockbuster trade in the NFL. Detroit is dealing Matthew Stafford to the LA Rams in exchange for two future first round picks, a third round pick, and Jared Goff. These are two former number one overall picks trading places in an absolutely blockbuster trade that shakes things up both in Detroit and in LA. There was a look in his eye. He had confidence in his teammates. He expected to play well. I, I loved everything that he did tonight. So this team has embraced me, and I really appreciate that. You know, I've, I've done everything I can to try to, you know, just work as hard as I can and, and you know, get myself in this team. And, and they, uh, they wrap their arms around me. It's such incredible players on this team. I'm lucky to be a part of it. Got to keep building on this, but uh, it felt great to get out there and, and go play. I was feeling good. Uh, we got a tr anything going on, Ian? We got a trade, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, we have a trade. We got a trade. The Los Angeles Rams, who have no cap space and have loaded up already, are loading up even more by adding multi year Pro Bowler Von Miller, the former face of the Denver Broncos franchise, now headed to Los Angeles to join what is a very, very good front seven and add to what has been a, a pretty good defense. And for the Denver Broncos, what they receive, uh, they are paying a bulk of Von Miller's $9 million salary, by the way, so the Rams can fit it in and so they can get better draft picks. They receive two 
second day picks, a second rounder in 2022 and a third rounder in 22, 2022. That means for the Rams, they have traded not only their first round pick next year, but more. This is the way, Andrew, as you know, the Rams do things. They believe in the players they believe in, and they showed that again today. Odell Beckham Jr. just texted Kim Jones Rams. That is about as done as it gets. And, you know, it, certainly it's understandable that Beckham wanted to, uh, wanted to take his time, uh, wanted to make sure that his decision was right, wanted to make sure that when it was all done, he was at the place that he was supposed to go. And for me, what I was told was this was always about either the Rams or the Packers. Those were the two frontrunners, a bunch of other teams. Uh, a bunch of other teams were really made a push, made some solid offers. Uh, it's going to be a one-year deal. doesn't sound like a lot of money, but the opportunity to play in L.A. with Matthew Stafford in an already good receiving group, simply too much for Odell Beckham. remind y'all that prior to beating the Jacksonville Jaguars last week, yeah. okay, you lost three straight. Mm -hmm. You lost three straight to Tennessee, San Fran, and the Green Bay Packers. Prior to that, they won four games in a row. It was when they got the right. superstars, OBJ Von Miller. Check it's this like out. Check this out. That four-game winning streak, Molly. Yeah. Seattle, mm -hmm. Russell Wilson gets hurt that game. Then after that, they beat the Giants, the Detroit Lions, and the Houston Texans. Oh, I'm sorry. You had it easy for the most part. Right. I'm talking about in terms of your wins. Yeah. Right. We need. We haven't seen the Los Angeles Rams beat a quality team right. since they beat Tampa Bay in week three. Tonight's the night. What you going right. to do, Matthew Stafford? Yeah. What you going to do? offense in their first lead of week 17. 1914 is their deficit. A field goal won't do it. They need six. 430 on the fourth quarter clock. First snap for the Rams 25. Ravens set four. Throw middle. Caught by Higby. Catch and the tackle at the 40. First down from the LA 4. Stafford under center. Skaronic in motion from his right side. He takes a snap. He play fix. Sets up to throw. Launches middle. Cooper Cup at the Baltimore 40. Out the left side and tackled at the 36. Stafford looking left. Comes off that read. Fires right. Skaronic the catch at the 20. They give to Michelle. Tries the left side. Bursting through the hole. Digs down inside the 10 to the 9. And now the Rams are in trouble. Fourth down and 5. 1914 Ravens. Can Matthew Stafford do it in crunch time? Here he is from the pocket, throwing right. OBJ makes the catch at the five. Oh my goodness. He's driven back, but he secures it with two hands and keeps the drive alive. 
And goal from the seven. Stafford's in the gun. Empty shotgun set. Three to his right. Two to his left. Chris Cup in motion. Takes the snap. Rolls right. Pitches. Throws. Caught front pylon. OBJ. Touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown LA. Odell Beckham Jr. gives the Rams their first lead with 50. Quarterback right here, Matthew Stafford, you have to show up. They have to win this football game. And the Cardinals can still win this football game. I'm taking the Rams to win the football game. But the Cardinals still have the ability to win it. But it'll take a phenomenal game. It'll take a Josh Allen type game by Tyler Murray. He's not just got to throw the ball. He's got to go rush for about just about 100 yards in order for the Cardinals. Who's back? Back again. Eric Weddle's back. Tell a friend. The Rams coached former. So vital. Matthew Stafford, 33 years of age, no playoff wins. Can you get this team over the hump to win? With a two-handed grab, touchdown, OBJ. And that's what Odell Beckham Jr. brings to your team. Set five, throw goes left, hold on, OBJ to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and knocked out at the 2. Stafford's under center, takes the snap, tries the left side, he spills across the plane. Divisional playoff round and a sunny but cool Sunday afternoon in the Bay Area. Down the position, two down to the left, looking short. Puck at the five and into the end zone. It's Kendall Blanton. Has it, deep cut. Big throw, down the right side. Super Cup all alone. He caught it at the 30, to the 20, touch inside. 10, 5, touchdown Cooper Cup, touchdown LA. How can you lose number 10? On third down and nearly 20. Hugh Stafford puts it in the paint. Looks at the snap. And a snap over the head of Stafford. And the Bucks are going to pick it up. I don't know what's going on. Brady looking Brady. Throws the ball downfield. He's got Evans toward the end zone. Evans makes the catch. Touchdown Tampa Bay. He fumbles. Tampa Bay comes away with it. 10-5-3, 2-1, touchdown Tampa Bay, we're tied at 27. Seconds and no timeouts. Stafford bounces, deal, deep down the right side. He's got Cup running down the hash marks. He reels it in at the 15. Wake up to the sound, to the silence will that allows a from a yard deal run around with my ear up to the ground. Kick on I'm its way. I'm to behold the stories that I told. It is through, to the world, it is good, when Los I turn. Angeles. Garoppolo looks right, throws Debo, tunnel screen block from Jennings, breaks a tackle. Debo Samuel, 20! Touchdown! Debo! Jimmy back, throwing for George Kittle, wide open, he's got it! George Kittle makes the catch in the back of the end zone! George Kittle has given the 49ers a... Stafford lifts that left leg, calling for the snap, alone in the shotgun. He deals, left side, Cooper Cup in the end zone! Touchdown LA! Everybody wants to be His second my score enemy. of the game. Now, that back to Garoppolo. Pocket front. He's stamped out. Sir. He's hit. He's my wrapped enemy. up. He's lifted forward. He's tipped. It's intercepted. It's intercepted. Down, it's intercepted. Down, it's intercepted. Aaron Donald got pressure on Garoppolo. And Raven Howard clinches the NFC Championship game. The Rams are staying home to play in Super Bowl 56. Joe Burrow comes there, he gets hurt his first year, his second year, which is his first full season in the National Football League. He is in a Super Bowl, and he's got a stud like Jamar Chase 
to throw the football to. And T. Higgins ain't no slouch either. You realize how big that is? That is the biggest story. There is no doubt about it. And, and, and Joe, you, that's right. Are you joking? I, I can't even believe you fell into this, Dan. And, and, and neither can I with you, Stephen A. You always cover the super team. The super team is the bigger story, and that's what the Rams are. Well, when Miami put together a super team, Stephen A., you were down there covering with uh, Golden State and Kevin Durant came over there. You were down because we cover the super team because they're already up here, and we're waiting to see the fall. Cincinnati is great for the league because they did it the old-fashioned way. They did it through the draft. That's why I say through that eye, they're great for the league. The small team, they did it the right way. Instead of all these friends coming together and messing up our whole system, we're creating a super team. I can't believe you guys are just tossing this out, not even bringing this up when we talk about the story. What's the better story? We always cover the super team more. We did it in every other sport. We do it here. That's why the Rams well, are the better who, story. Who, who's Matthew Stafford? Who's the super team? Dude, RC, talk to me. Is it Super Bowl or bust for the LA Rams? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything, anything less is unacceptable. Anything less for the Los Angeles Rams this year is a failure. This is a team that went all the way in. You get Matthew Stafford for one reason. You said that what Jared Goff was capable of doing was not enough. Well, all Jared Goff did as a Pro Bowl quarterback a few years back is get you to a Super Bowl. You felt like he wasn't enough to get you over the hump. So you give up Jared Goff. You give up first round picks to get Matthew Stafford. So he was brought there to bring a ring and nothing else. And then you think about the Vaughn Millers. You think about going out and getting Odell Beckham Jr. You have done everything you possibly could to make this rendition, this team, the best team the Los Angeles Rams have had. The most star power that has ever been on the field in Los Angeles. And you have to go win it now. If you lose to San Francisco, if you lose in the Super Bowl, it is all a failure for Sean McVay, for Matthew Stafford, for Les Snead, for the Aaron Donalds of the world. And now the pressure is Put on you. Well, 56 at SoFi Stadium, right next door to me right now. An epic showdown between the Rams and the Bengals in the heart of Los Angeles. The crowning achievement, it's either going to be the Bengals or the Rams hoisting that baby. I'm excited to see how this Rams super team actually handles a Super Bowl week. <laughs> and I think the city is showing out. Yeah. Okay, for me, a storyline <laughs> that I'm looking at. It's the wide receivers for the Rams. And I'm not talking about Cooper Cup. I know we all re realize that he's the best receiver in the game sure. right now. He, he was recognized as the offensive player of the year. So he's going to be the focal point of the defense for the Bengals. Sure. If that is the case, like it was every single week, right. yep. OBJ, Van Jefferson, those are the guys that are going to have to step up in this game. Yep. Every single moment of the Rams season has been animated by this possibility. The chance to play in the final game of the season. Well, here it is. Here we go from Inglewood and SoFi Stadium. Here comes third down and three. Spins it right side, looking for Odell Beckham Jr. He high points the football and has the six. Touchdown, OBJ. It's seven, nothing Rams. Stafford sees him, back pile on Cox. The most complete receiving season in NFL history now includes a Super Bowl touchdown. Von Miller, a strip sack inside the five. Pocket crumbling. Burrow will have to eat it again. Vision of Sean McVay's life right here. He's going to get it. And more. Done it again. What a drive. In a pressure situation, I don't know if I have ever seen anybody be better than Matthew Stafford. With 43 seconds remaining, Rams creeping. They rush four. Burrow to throw for it. He's hit. He flings it away on fourth down. I knew it. I knew it. He'd make a 
big one. You can build that man's statue out SoFi Stadium right now. What a move, what a play, what a game. And they have sealed the deal. The Los Angeles Rams are world champions. 23-20 is the final on their home field here at SoFi Stadium in Super Bowl 56. Look at this. Look, look at it. Take it in, man. Take it in. World champs, man. World champs, man. I love you, though. Been here eight years, a lot of ups and downs. So to see it come full circle, you know, all that hard work you put into this game, that's what needs you. Everybody wants to be my enemy.